To kick this video off, I would like to present this award to Super Mario Bros. For those who say they aren't like the others who get on the fame, well, take a look at this. The Mario movie has now hit 1 million globally. If you didn't know, the movie in, was actually just released in Japan two days ago. So while everyone on the West was going crazy for the movie, the Japan had, didn't even get it yet. So they did not get it because I think when I was trying to also look into it um, while I was making this video, I think they were just going for more of the Western audience when they were first making this. I could be wrong. And if you do know anything else about that, please let me know in the comments. It would be really interesting to know. But yeah, so while the numbers were just building up like crazy, once it, Japan got it, there it is. We've officially hit one billion. <laughs> it's crazy to think about. Oh my gosh. Rotten Tomatoes is about to be in shambles. Because look at this, look at this. You see over here, you got 96% for the audience, and then boom, you just got these other critics who said like 59% saying like, oh, like, what, what, what are these people saying? Possible version of the Mario movie. What were these people going for? <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be hard. It, no one's gonna be listening to these critics anymore. But the critics were never really important to people because I when I was whenever I see this site I'm like what do you all mean? Other movies Illumination could do with Nintendo I'd say definitely a Kirby one that would be adorable. A uh dang I was, I just forgot the name Pigman Pigman will definitely work Pigman's one um did they. Actually, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they could do Star Fox. Maybe Star Fox could be like. Maybe something like with DreamWorks. Maybe DreamWorks could do it. Because, like, I think. Have they actually. Have they ever done, like, a space movie before? I never even checked. I don't think they've ever done a space movie. Maybe that can be, like, the first space movie that uh, DreamWorks ever does. Or I might have to double check, but there's that. Um, maybe get like another studio to do F Zero. I'm just thinking of like all the ones that are like, like the core ones. Cause I'd say for like the ones in for Fire Emblem, Xenoblade, and mainly any of the R RPGs that Nintendo has, they they definitely will need like an anime style for it. So those. I'd say we'll have to wait a while because they'll definitely need to find the right studio. Especially since I'd say the probably one of the best ones yet, and I know this is like I'm not sure how possible it will be, but the people who did Castlevania did an incredible job. Because I got that that's one of my favorites as well. I need to I really need to get a tier list going for like my favorite video game adaptation, because that one was so good. With how they handled the animation and storyline. That is probably one of my... That's like the best way to just um, learn more about Castlevania. As well as like more about the Belmonts. Because like, that was one of my... That was so, so much fun watching for like four seasons. I had a blast watching that. Nintendo aside, I am curious though on how other... Game, game companies will try to tap their games as well because I because like outside of Nintendo I'd say the other one that's doing great is like with Sony with how they adapted Last of Us because I because I know I didn't really watch it but I just know that was like a major success that was a success I definitely know that with Sonic 3 they're going to really I'm hoping they're really going to try and improve a lot more for like the video game feel for when they do 3. Especially since with the Knuckles show, they're definitely going to make a lot more changes, hopefully. But, let me see, what else is there? There's also, there's also the Street Fighter movie, which is going to be done by Legendary. And lastly, the other thing is the sequel to, of course, the... Mortal Kombat 2021 movie. <laughs> <laughs>